Hey folks, Spencer Rample for Gibbons Motor Toys here. And hey, guess what? It's almost boat show time. Yeah, two big boat shows coming up for us, the Calgary and then the Edmonton. I'm bringing you back into the shop here right now because I want to show you a boat that's in behind us here. Check out the 34, 25 offshore from Kingfisher. This boat is going to be at both shows. We're excited to show it off. It's getting rigged right now. Hey, I got a special treat for us. Let's get Cody Jeffries. He's our service technician and uh, boat rigger extraordinaire to give us a look around at all the work that goes into this boat. You know, a lot of people don't realize it's there's a lot goes into these boats before you actually see them at the boat show looking so clean and nice. So let's take a look around. Hey, what do you say, Cody? Hey guys, Cody here. Welcome to the 3425 destination. Let's take a quick peek at some of our favorite parts and uh, go through some of the rigging. So it's about two to three weeks. Uh, that's working pretty much every day on it. That's the kind of hours that you put into everything in a boat like this. Yeah, everything from engines to accessories, the battery systems, and anything that uh, the customer would like on top of that. Uh, we're going to get it cleaned up after this, but right now you can see it just as uh, Cody gets to see it when he's spending time in this boat. Uh, well, down here we have our battery system, fuel compartment, and all the engine connections. Kingfisher has put in a electronic power steering system for us and we've also added in a joystick and autopilot system to go along with that. We've put in a start or crank battery for each engine as well as a 12 volt house uh, system for the all the house compartments and that is all on a isolating battery switch which is controlled from up front at the helm. It's actually on a key switch. Um, back here we also have all of our breakers and fuses for the windlass system. We have two connections for downriggers uh, hooked up back here as well. Moving over to the side here we've got our SR cabin heater. It is a diesel fuel powered system with an internal uh, cooling unit with uh, just regular coolant. This uh, unit will is turned on from the inside and it will heat up the cabin through the floor as well as at the front of the dash. And they've got it sealed up nicely in this little compartment here so that it's uh, tucked away and easy access to the fuel tank. Nice. Now that's a water system too, isn't it, in this one? It um, provides uh, hot water as well? That's correct, yeah. It'll uh, provide the hot water for your shower as well as the dual sinks on this vessel here. Nice. Uh, moving over okay. on this side, we have our rear helm connected to the dual engines here and our kicker controls on this side. We have one of the joystick pilot controls down on the dash here that you can use. Um, you just have to hit the transfer button from the front and everything comes to the back. We've added in a secondary USB and 12 volt connection here for any charging you'd like to do as well as hidden underneath we have put in one of our two fusion dual speaker flush mounted panels here so you get all the nice sound that you want but you don't see that it's there nice helm here i love this dash that they've done here that it's way high like this um, it sure is clean looking too tell me a little bit about rigging that yeah for sure so we got our nice clean dash we've added a 12 inch simrad fish finder all touch screen and you can basically control the entire boat from here all with the touch of a finger. We've added in a VHF radio, the fusion control unit for those speakers and again on the side we have our engine controls as well as the another joystick which helps with docking and anything like that. And then as I mentioned at the back we have that key switch where you can turn the battery switches on and off by uh, one turn of the key or if you wanted to you could do individual switches have the engines off but the house on or vice versa whichever you feel and again we also tucked away another one of those fusion speaker panels up in the roof here nice and clean flush mounted but great sound so while we're rigging up on the all the helms and the dash items like that we take time to be proud of our work as well as keep it tight, neat, everything labeled and 
clean so it's easy for let's say another tech to come in behind me make any repairs um, for example there's a NEMA system on these boats the NMEA which is the connections between all your different electronic items and which allows the SIMRAD fish finder to read the entire boat on one screen with those connections the cables are identical so if we don't label them you'll never know which one has the problem therefore we like to uh, make it nice and neat for anybody to come in behind and uh, make any repairs. Well, thanks guys for joining us on the 3425. We hope to see you down at the Calgary and Edmonton Boat Show. Come take a look at all the hard work I've done and all the goodies that we've added onto this boat. We hope to see you there.